Boy, oh, girl. Is your memory elastic enough to recall the days when you could buy it? Without any stretch of the imagination, it was used for almost everything that stretched. The buoyancy of elastic made you feel buoyant, too. There was a friendly give-and-take quality about it that made you feel secure. Though it kept you in suspense. Rubber bands were even more important than jazz bands. And ancient conjurers would have been lost without a bit of elastic. Remember the mystery of the disappearing mouchoir or hanky-panky tricks under the arc lights? Well, this is what's known as blowing the gaff. And the conjurer had to be well-dressed. Even to his elastic-sided boots. Elastic was always a close friend of the well-dressed woman. But not such a good friend to the hard-pressed boy. The dictionary shows what elastic means. But it means much more than that when you haven't any. At the moment, such are the fortunes of war, 90% of the world's rubber is in enemy hands. So what about a substitute? A thing is only elastic, of course, if it goes back to its normal shape. There's the fish, for instance. That smells. It swells when it's angry. We've seen other four fish like that, too. When it has cooled down, it resumes its ordinary shape. It's extraordinary how some things will swell. The elastic properties of elastic gave the inventors of the first model airplanes a great idea. These drawings are based on those in an aeronautical journal of 60 years ago. Some of the original models were little more than a few feathers and a bit of elastic. The elastic provided the motive power. Modern bombers have dispensed with elastic and our pilots are doing their best to see that things won't go back to their normal shape. But the other day, we read of a bouncing bomb. Huh. It says here they're dropping rubber bombs now. I don't believe it. They are, you know. 